In my review of Fedora 26, the XFCE spin, I didn't spend too much time with the XF dashboard, so I decided to take a closer look at it. I have the launcher up here already. When I click on that, I got this very large icon for simple screen recorder. Couldn't quite understand that. And the reason that happened is that the simple screen recorder was minimized. I'm unminimizing it. Now this looks more like what you expect from the GNOME dashboard. You see the simple screen recorder as it actually appears. When you minimize an application in the XFCE dashboard currently, it shows up as an icon. But I'm going to minimize this again. When you go to settings and the XF dashboard settings, there's an option here to enable workaround for minimized windows. That's what I was just referring to. And it says when enabled, a workaround for minimized windows will be tried to get still images of these windows by restoring them shortly, I think they mean briefly, and minimizing them again. Be aware that this is a workaround and your minimized windows could stay unminimized, change workspace, etc. So just to be adventuresome, I'm going to try this. And now you can see that the simple screen recorder appears as it normally looks, even though it's minimized. But the calculator has joined it in its workspace. So they warned me, and this is the result. I'm going to minimize this again. I'm going to go back to settings. And I'm going to unenable that workaround for now. I just wanted to explain what appeared in my initial look at XF Dashboard. Now, when you first open the dashboard, if you click on Home up here, you get the categories. And these are in a list with an icon to the left of the description. And if you click on any particular category, you get the contents of that category, and then you can go back up. When you click on this little icon here, you get the Windows view, which is basically going back to the view of the open applications in that workspace. I'm going to move the calculator to workspace 1. And that leaves Simple Screen Recorder alone there. So when I change workspaces, here I have LibreOffice Calc. And I get the calculator as minimized, but LibreOffice Calc is shown as it appears and the VLC media player is also shown as it appears. So this works a lot like the dashboard in GNOME 3. I don't think a new workspace is automatically added though, as it is in GNOME 3. I think you can select the number of workspaces and it will stay at that. But I'm going back here to my second workspace and the application is minimized. Now there's more than one theme. 
This shows a little miniature view. This is the XF dashboard theme. This is the default theme. Then there's dashboard over, an aubergine theme for dashboard. You want to see what that looks like. It's a little different color. By the way, this dashboard on the left looks a little smaller, a little narrower, and that's because I've added more things. And like the GNOME 3 dashboard, that will get narrower as you add more things to it, and the icons have to be smaller. And here's the dashboard blue theme. Here's the dashboard dark theme. Here's the dashboard mint theme. You can see the home button is green here. It appears when you hover over it. Here's the dashboard moronga. It's kind of an orange color. And here's the dashboard wine. The red wine theme. So you have a certain amount of control over the appearance. You can switch workspaces easily enough. I'm in the second workspace now, and when I click on this one, I'm in the first workspace. I have uh, LibreOffice Calc opened and I'm going to go to VLC. It's easy to do. However, there doesn't seem to be any way to close VLC from the dashboard. You can close it the regular way. I'm going to go to Workspace 3 and I have Gini open. I'm going to go to Workspace 4 and I have the Yum Extender open. That's what it looks like. Back to Workspace 2 in the settings. These are themes. When I go back to General again, there are a number of other options here. In my last review, when I clicked on Show Menu for All Installed Applications, That merely meant that all applications was one of the categories that was added. So when I click on that, I get all of the applications. And I can scroll down through all of them. In a way, this uh, categorized approach is a lot more useful than the dashboard in GNOME 3, so it could actually be viewed as an improvement. Clicking on back doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere here. 
There's the window mode. Here's an option for priority of window content creation. It's set as immediately. And it says only change its value from immediate to other value if your graphics card driver or system is too slow to create the window contents immediately. You have to try each value to find one fitting to your system. I'm not going to try them now. So always start a new instance for an application to check. You can uncheck it if you wish. Now in Windows View, the mouse wheel changes the workspace. I definitely don't want to do that. I don't like accidentally changing workspaces. And then there are some plugins. A clock plugin adds a new view showing a clock and a hot corner option which allows you to get to the dashboard with a hot corner and a middle click window close. I don't use a mouse, I use a touchpad so the middle click doesn't work very well for me. So that's just a brief look again at the XFCE dashboard was a little more insight than I had when I originally looked at it. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.